Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. We're going to take you through another skill in IXL's 8th grade math, Section P, with transformations and congruence. Today we're going to focus on reflections and reflecting over the X and Y axes specifically. So here we're told to graph the image of F, point F, which is at negative 5, negative 3, after a reflection over the X axis. The X axis is clearly labeled for us. If we want to reflect over that point, or over that line, excuse me, um, I'll do it in green. What I'm going to do is count how many units it is up to the x-axis. One, two, three. And then I'll go right straight over it. Another three units. One, two, three. And this is our point. Oh boy, if I could have the line turned off and the point turned on. There we go. There's F, and we would call it F prime. Um, F prime, by the way, if you think about its new coordinates, where are they? It's at negative 5, positive 3. Negative 5, positive 3. So the um, x value didn't change, but the y value did when we reflect over the x-axis. Let's look at this as well. If we draw a line connecting f to f prime, we'll see a couple things. Number one is that these lines meet at a 90 degree angle. Number two, that there it's exactly cut in half. This red line is cut in half by the line of reflection. Three units on each side. Moving on, uh, reflecting this point over the y-axis. Okay, so one, two to the right of the y-axis. So I'm going to reflect it by making it two to the left of the y-axis. Check out what happens with c prime's coordinates. It's at negative two, positive four. Negative two, positive four. So when we reflect over the y-axis, um, the x value becomes opposite and the y value stays the same. Again, let's look at this red line that's formed when we connect these two points. A couple of things that are important. Uh, number one is that it meets the line of reflection at a 90 degree angle and that red line is cut in half by the line of reflection. All right, so let's move into more complex figures here. We're going to reflect uh, DEFG, a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, so the x-axis, now let's do this. This is the x-axis right here, and we're going to reflect over that point. So here's what we're going to do. For f, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There's f prime. For g, 1, 2, 3, 4 below x. 1, 2, 3, 4 above x is where its new point would be. So there's g prime. e is at negative 8. So I'm going to jump all the way up to positive 8. It's still 5 to the right of the x, the y axis, so there's e prime, d's at negative 9, so I can go all the way up here to positive 9, so there's d prime. And then if we connect these points, there's our new figure um, after it's been reflected across the x axis. This will be the last time I do this too, but Let's connect these points uh, to their corresponding vertices, or at least a couple of them. Notice that uh, this red line meets the line of reflection at a 90 degree angle. So does this one. Uh, this one is cut in half, as is this one by the line of reflection. 16 cut in half, 8 on both sides. All right, now we're going to reflect over the y-axis. Okay, so D is, we'll go in alphabetical order, uh, B, C, D, E. Okay, so B is at negative 7. We reflect over the y-axis. It's at negative 7. We're going to be at positive 7. So there's B prime. C is at negative 7. Comes straight across. It's going to be at positive 7. D is at negative 3. Comes straight across. It's going to be at positive 3. And E is at negative 3. Straight across, it's going to be at positive 3. We'll connect these points. 
using some lines here. All right, B to C to D to E. It does help if you kind of go alphabetical order, especially when you're doing it on IXL. One more. Uh, we're going to reflect this one over the x-axis. So over the x-axis, which is this horizontal axis here. So S is at 5. Go straight down. We'll plot it at negative 5. Um, so there's S prime. T is also at 5. Come straight down to negative 5. U is right on the y-axis. It's going to stay on the y-axis and be down at negative 10. And V is at negative 4. It's going to stay there. Oh, but it's at 10 up. So we're going to go 10 below the x-axis. So there's V prime. Connect those points using some lines and we'll be done. Um, S to T to U to V. And one more time, I think I'll join with these red lines here. If we connect corresponding vertices, which isn't a necessary process, but you can see that each one of these red lines hits the x-axis at a 90 degree angle, and each one is cut in half by the x-axis. So, a little lesson on reflecting over the x and y axis, um, section P of IXL's 8th grade math. Good luck.